So I figured out what was wrong with this, um, why it wasn't going. Uh, basically, after I got the motor put back together and got the piston done, um, and everything's going good, it would run, and it runs, starts and goes just like, like that if you have it up off the ground. As soon as you put pressure on it though, um, it just can't get going. And the problem is, as you'll see right here, there's about an inch where this clutch is not disengaging. So the belt, I already took them off, sorry about that. The belt is just tight enough that the starter motor can't um, turn the motor over and get it started. Um, you can take a block of wood and kind of wiggle it around in here, whack it a couple times, and it'll pop free. I tried some PB Blaster and a few things, but it just catches um, every time now. So um, I don't want to have to pop it around and things, so I'm gonna take it off. I remember when I was doing this, and I had everything off, I could not get this off. So I've been reading up and some tips um, people have been trying. One guy fills it full of oil, but he has the motor upside, you know, off the engine already, or off the, the frame. So he fills it up with motor oil and then uses the three quarter bolt. Um, here it is, got that. Went to Tractor Supply and got me one today. Um, it's three quarter, it's three quarters by 16. So it's the finer thread for the big bolts. Um, anyway, I got it started in there, but I took it out before I got it too far because first off, I'm gonna try and rig up one of those pullers. Um, there it is. This should be long enough to fit in there. Because um, if you look online and you see those pullers, it's basically a rod welded to the end, or well, it's you know it's cut out and and uh, and uh, die, cut out and threaded. Um, it's just a piece of rod that somebody made, um, three quarter, and then they step it down to like I don't know five sixteenths, three eighths, or something, um, and then they it's just a solid rod on the bottom, and then threaded out here on the end like this. I'll show a picture of it in the video here. But it, it basically looks something like that. And you slide it in there and just start cranking this big bolt, well, which would be the outside of that. And it pushes against the shaft inside the motor as this goes in and pops it off. So I'm going to try this first. I'm going to flip this around so it doesn't tear up the end of the uh, uh, shaft. And then I'm going to try to, if it, it'll fit in there. If not, I may have to cut the end off of it up there and uh, grind it rounded and smooth and and see but um, the other thing I'm gonna try if this doesn't work is I'm gonna pack that thing full of grease and then hopefully hopefully that you know as far as you can get it threaded in would be enough to to pop it off but we'll see so let me let me get this rigged up and then I'll come back so it didn't quite fit it was almost almost fit so I just ground the little uh, edges off a little bit and it should slide in now Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's see how far it'll go. I can get a magnet and get it out. I don't want it to go too far, but because then you won't be able to get it with your um, with your bolt if it goes in too far. It's right at the edge. Okay, there it's hitting. Yeah, that's good because that's probably. So it's about that much of the screwdriver. Um, I'd like it to be a little less, so I don't have to go so deep, but I'm gonna try that, because uh, the threads go pretty good on this thing. It looks like, if you look in there, they go pretty deep, so. All right, so thanks to Amazon, this thing came in in one day. So I'm just gonna clean these threads out. I don't, it's going in really easy, so I think it was just because of the rust and everything else. Um, because yeah, this is this is this is turning pretty easy. I don't even have to hold the clutch or anything, and it it's going right in there. So I think it's going to clean the threads out, and then I'll be able to get my bolt in there and pop this off like you're supposed to. I thought it would be easier to take out than put in, but it's a little tight coming out too. A few threads and then it gets tight. There we go, finally. Alright, so I went in 
most of the way. Look at all that nasty stuff that came out of there. You can see that right there on all the threads. So I think just cleaning it out like that will make it work. And uh, so I went down all the way to about almost all the way in. So I should have a good inch and a half to press with. A little bit of cleaning the threads out and an impact wrench and we got it. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. That right there was my tool. I went to track supply and got me that bolt. And then I just found this. I had to grind the head off a little bit like I showed you, but then I put a little bit of a spacer in there, which worked out good because it centered it up because it went into there, um, kind of pounded itself into there. And uh, that helped keep it level it the whole way through, so. Also a little trick here, if, um, if you can't quite get to yours like mine, this, uh, I don't know if you can see that over there, this bracket right here. Um, was keeping the impact wrench I couldn't quite reach it so um, since this motor sits on this frame here or whatever I just took my jack and put it underneath the motor and it gave it just enough clearance so that the impact wrench would reach it is pretty dirty in there uh, a little I don't know like I said I don't really know what I'm doing yet so but I just thought I'd take it out and see what it looked like but it does look pretty nasty and dirty in there. So, it's, it's this piece that's not moving very much, I guess. Or actually, that does move against the spring is what it does, right? So, that's kind of sticky. So, I think it just needs cleaned pretty well. Get some of this old sticky grease off of there. and All that powder or whatever that is and clean up the shaft a little bit. So, I don't know. I'm going to go read and we'll check it out. What I found out was that the EasyGo clutches are not serviceable. I looked online and uh, searched around with, uh, called a couple stores and everything else, and they just kept telling me that you're not, they're not serviceable. You can't get that spider off. Um, I even tried rigging up a thing before I called all this stuff. I thought, oh, you just gotta, you know, wrench that off the top and take it off, and then I can clean the shaft in there. Um, so I rigged up some bolts on my uh, workbench and stuff so that it would catch the, catch it because I saw. Uh, a couple of shops that had videos where they have this little tool that clamps it down so that they can use this big pry bar to take those little spider things off or whatever anyway anyway I could not get that thing to budge and it was just you know uh, I was putting all my weight and everything into it well I was reading around and I guess the older clutches like that were not serviceable you couldn't get that spider thing off now uh, that may just be something somebody told me but anyway I got tired of messing with it so I just got one on Amazon installed that thing and that's what I did I just got a new one and it works great now so uh, if you ever have one of these old ones and you can't seem to get that clutch working just get a new one put it on and it'll work great so thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video just remember get out there and do something um, you know sometimes it takes me a while to get things finished but I got it done and now we've been using this thing again and I, I just need to decide if I'm gonna paint it or not have a great weekend we'll talk to you later